I would say the number one thing that Mike and I preach over and over and over again when it comes to finding deals, and this is kind of irrelevant, or you know, regardless of the of the type, uh, but it's marketing. You, you you can't keep your business a secret. You have to scream it from the rooftops. You got to tell everybody you know. I heard a really good quote the other day, Mike, and mm. this guy said, "There's only two reasons that people aren't doing business with you." And I was like, "Okay, I'm interested. What you got?" And he goes, "One, they don't know that you're in business, or two, they forgot." Right? And I was thinking, "Man, that's so smart." Like, yeah, they may not need your business, right? But that's not the point, though. It's either they don't know about you being in business to solve that problem when they find it, or they forgot. So you got to tell everybody, shout it from the rooftops. You got to do the marketing. Now, if you have money, you can automate this marketing and your phone will ring and you can go do whatever you want. But the whole purpose of this podcast, this episode, this topic is doing this with no money. So when it comes to marketing, there's typically two types of marketing, guys. There's paid marketing, and then there's free marketing. So we're gonna be focusing on the free marketing. The free marketing is time intensive, period. Period. It's true. You're gonna spend time or you're gonna spend money. And when you spend money, you, you still typically spend some time. But if you don't have any money, it's 100% time intensive. Not necessarily a bad thing, but you can't sit on your couch and just expect leads to come in. You gotta get out there. You gotta shout from the rooftop. So what are some of the ways to go about finding deals, Mike. I'm gonna steal the by best. By trading time. I'm gonna steal the best or one. Or by using your time and not your money. The best one. What is right it? Right away. This is the golden the golden goose that just keeps on giving. Uh, yeah? Is called driving for dollars. Oh, I love this one. So again, yeah. first and foremost, I think, Woo! I don't know if we hit on this, but you've gotta go direct to sellers. So we're doing marketing. You can't necessarily rely on just finding deals on the MLS to buy and then try to resell as a wholesaler. You can't necessarily rely on that as a landlord either uh, because there may not be that many deals and if the market's hot, they get bought up right away. So again, going direct to sellers is the way to go and finding motivated seller leads, my favorite way is driving for dollars. It's, it's a very, it can be a little bit intense because there's so many aspects to driving for dollars. Uh, but again, it's the best. Man, we've, we've done our biggest wholesale deals from driving for dollars. Yeah. Our biggest deals yeah. have come from Literally from the top three have come from D for D. It's unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. So again, what is it? All right, driving for dollars, simply explained is this. You hop in your car, don't even have to hop in your car, you can ride your bike around your neighborhood. I've done it on my bike. You could run, you're not gonna get very many houses that way. <laughs> Unless you're a marathoner. <laughs> but you're looking, at, you're looking at properties while you're out in your vehicle driving around, and generally speaking, you're gonna look for the distressed ones. And you're looking for property, and what's a distressed property? Well, you've, we've all seen the one with the gutters falling off. That's that's gold to you. Uh, Boarded up windows, broken down cars in the driveway, uh, tarps on roofs, long grass, landscaping, trees falling down, broken like, windows, broken windows, paint chipping and peeling, etc. That was a good summary. Yeah, that was a quick one. I like a pile of newspapers. Oh, I love that pile of newspapers, something yeah. like that. Maybe a so, big old yellow sign on the front door that says "Notice you know, to, notice to yeah. evict" or "Notice yeah, uh, not not suitable, not suitable for living conditions." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. So th those are gold right there, and why? Because that property is distressed in some way. And if it's sitting there for a long time, the owner is probably distressed in some way. They probably don't have the means uh, to fix it up. So again, that's just an asset that's sitting there. It's cost money to own, whether you realize it or not, even if it's paid off, it costs money every year in taxes, hopefully in insurance. Some people may skimp on that, but these things cost money. These assets cost money. That's right. So yeah, very, very cool. So driving for dollars, you're looking for these little diamonds in the rough. You find them, then what is the next thing? Again, you can't just drive and find these properties, then magically money falls out of the air you gotta in market your hands. To you gotta locate those owners. Yeah, so you can do this without any money, guys. It's super easy. So you can go to the tax records and you can find the owner of that property. And maybe they have a different mailing address than the property address. And you can go knock on their door. Um, if you, I mean, come on guys, this is 2021. Everybody has a cell phone. So you can call them and that doesn't cost you anything to just use your existing phone. If you don't have a phone number and you can't afford to pay high price, uh, skip tracing, no problem. There's free, uh, places to find people online like Facebook. You ever heard of that sub website before? It's pretty, it's pretty wild. You can find people on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, guys. These are places that you can find people. You search their name 
and you find them, right? You can go to other websites like truepeoplesearch.com. I love that True one. People Search. This is a free skip tracing site. Maybe only 50% of the time is it gonna give you the right phone number, but the other 50% of the time, you're gonna be able to get a loc locate a, a seller or a property owner's phone number for free without spending any money at all, right? Once you get the number, you should call them. You should text them. And again, it's 2021. I'm assuming that everybody has an unlimited plan or at least access to a phone. That's not included in no, in no money. That's You have to have that to live your life at this point, I feel like, right?